costume, Harpo Marx, right? <laughs> Is George getting ready? <laughs> Good. Did you call about the jack-o'-lantern? <laughs> Why not? Oh. Huh? I'm sorry, Miss Jefferson. I just didn't have time to carve the pumpkin. Oh, that's a shame. Halloween is not the same without a jack-o'-lantern. We could stick a candle in Mr. Jefferson's mouth and watch his eyes light up. Oh, oh Florence, I want to show you something. How do I look? Like you mugged a muppet. <laughs> Shut your mouth and open your eyes. Here comes the guys gonna win first prize. <laughs> Someday you'd see it my way. <laughs> oh, it was a great idea for all of us to dress up as old movie stars. Yeah, I know it was a great idea. It was my idea. I'm gonna win that costume contest tonight because I got. Get that out. Like I was saying, when those judges see me, their eyes gonna pop out. I'm gonna be so sharp. Stop that! Tonight's gonna be great. I'm gonna go up there to pick up my trophy. I'm gonna feel like a, a fish. What the hell are you doing? George, Florence is just having fun. But I hate fish. It's only rubber. Oh, yeah, it probably tastes like your pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wheezy Lionel, come on out here quick. Oh, what happened, George? I did it. I got the loan. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh, you deserve a big kiss. I sure do. <laughs> but first, I got to show you something. <laughs> come on over here. This is the best surprise I could ever give you. Ha. Hey, what a surprise, a key. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna show you the store, man. I put a brand new cleaner. But you still don't have the loan yet. Where did you get the money to rent a store? I sold our car for the down payment. Oh. Sold our car? George, how could you? It wasn't easy, Weaves. <laughs> Getting 300 bucks for a 55 Chrysler with bald tires took a lot of talking. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, here it is, the future site of Handy Dandy Cleaners. <laughs> handy Dandy Cleaners? Right. Can you think of a better name? Well, how about Jefferson Cleaners? Oh, come on, please. Be serious. That would never work. <laughs> Weezy, take a look at these things. If you had one thing to say about them, what would it be? I'm glad their mother's not here to see them. <laughs> No, 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 I mean they're undercooked. Look, I asked for three-minute eggs. If these eggs were any more raw, they'd be scratching for worms. This is Jefferson. This is the third time this morning your husband made me cook his eggs. Each time he said three minutes, and each time I cooked them three minutes. But you are not in Puerto Rico anymore. I'm in three minutes American time. <laughs> Pero que hombre, oh, you no George, 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 George. Don't you think you're getting a little carried away? They taste fine to me. But look, that ain't the way Florence used to cook them. Oh, here is Florence again. All the time it's Florence. That's right. Florence worked here for six whole years, and not once did I ever have to yell at her. <laughs> well, maybe a couple of times. But at least she knew how to cook three-minute eggs. Uh, George. These eggs don't taste any different. Here, try them again. Ah! <laughs> I'm going down to Charlie's bar, and this place better be clean when I get back here. What do you mean? I cleaned it last night. Then you must have cleaned it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See? See what? Florence never dusted on weekends. <laughs> Those are the straws that brought Step right in. <laughs> uh, 
Did you enjoy the ride, Mama? Oh, yes, George. I only hope that stuck-up Evelyn Harris saw me in the limousine. How could she miss? You made the chauffeur drive around the block three times blowing the horn. <laughs> well, how do you like it? Uh, oh, I love your office, George. It's, uh, it's so uh, uh, compact. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm sure you'll have a lot of happy hours here. Not unless I'm fooling around with my secretary, I won't, because this is her office. <laughs> now, this is my office. Like big oh, yeah. oh, George. Well, what about it, Weed? Oh, it's it's. No, what's the word I'm looking for? Expensive. <laughs> what do you think of it, Ma? It's lovely, George. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> well, you know the old saying, Ma. Behind every successful man, there stands a good woman. That's why I'm so proud of you. You did it anyway. <laughs> Tour. See, this is We're in luck, everybody. Benny just happened to have this bottle of real expensive wine over this place. So, social register, here he comes. So, just what do you do with your time that's better? I have a job. I work. <laughs> you may have a job, but you certainly don't work. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Margaret burps. <laughs> Maybe she's got gas. So I don't work, huh? Well, who do you think keeps this place clean? Half the time, you get me to help you. Well, you ain't got nothing better to do. Hey, wait a minute, you two. You stop arguing. We got to get this place ready for the Bay of Marses. Well, talk to her. She's the maid. I may be the maid, but I sure don't have to stand here and listen to you insult me. Oh, well, maybe you'd be happier working someplace else. Well, maybe I would. Florence, where are you going? I'm going to pack my stuff and go up to the Willis's. They'll let me stay there until I find another job. Another job? Nobody fired you. Oh, no? Well, then I quit. You can't quit. What about the Van Morris's? I need a man. <laughs> well, then go and see if you can find one that don't mind working for hair. <laughs> see? There you go, pointing again. Nice balls. <laughs> hey! Damn. <laughs> what the hell are fuzzballs? <laughs> hey, bro. On your head. What? Oh, there's while I was out, I picked up a new sky. <laughs> so you really looking bad tonight, Tom. <laughs> bad? Oh, a uh, bad ride. Thanks, bro. <laughs> hey, some wine, Willis. Great blood. <laughs> hey, by the way, Louise. <laughs> Thanks for having us over to your crib. <laughs> you know how much Helen and I enjoy shaking it up with you and my main man. Tom, uh, why don't you get me another glass of wine? Well, now, right on, baby. <laughs> but first, give me a little taste of that brown sugar. Tom, what in the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, I believe the term is strutting your stuff. No, Tom, the term is making an ass of yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, you cook like a chihuahua. <laughs> your mama. <laughs> Strutting your stuff into the other room. And take that off! Hey, 
easy with the scar. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Jefferson, sir. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Ralph. Ralph. What can I do for you, Ralph? Well, I haven't seen either of you in a couple of days, so uh, I started to get worried. Worried? About what? About you. After all the trouble you must have gone through to get me my Christmas present, I know how terrible you'll feel if you didn't get a chance to give it to me. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, Ralph. Yep, and you got nothing to worry about. Really, sir? Yeah, because we didn't get you anything. <laughs> no problem, sir. There's still time. As a matter of fact, I have a list of things I would like. Oh, I was going to give you cash. Good guess, sir. On my list, that's number one, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Ralph. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, by the way, those two Christmas trees you had me order, were they delivered OK? Uh, yeah, fine. Thanks, little Ralph. Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute. Two trees? Yes, ma'am. One for here and one to that address in Harlem. What address in Harlem? It was 984. <laughs> we don't remember.